So I'm just packing the tent away now. Let's have a bit of an update. So, me and the little lad, I was on the Checology, the little lad was on the Tesco airbed. So we've done six nights. We've done six nights in the tent and a couple of times I've had to put a little bit of air in Trent's airbed. Not a lot because you don't weigh a lot but already you can see it's a bit you know but that's enough for him. What the trichology I've blown that up once when I put it in. I've not had to put any more air in that in six days and that's still what the airbed's like now. So if we compare the two together that's what they look like. You've got this nice shape here to hold you in, stop you rolling off the edge. The pillar's absolutely superb on this. I've never had an airbed where the pillar has actually been any good but this one it is brilliant. So that's it. Yeah, I think twice I've had to put air into this, but not a lot, but as you can see, I think with an adult on it, obviously, it'd probably go down a lot quicker. But the Trichology UL140, that is surprising how heavy that one is to how light this is. So that was just a little update of how it's performed and I am more than happy with it. So this was $49.99. It's a quality thick material so it doesn't stretch. These cheap ones with them being like a rubbery I think what happens with these especially with an adult on I think when you're on it I think the rubber and the plastic must expand so it goes down quite a bit so I think that was £13 $49.99 would I recommend it? yes and to be honest I wouldn't recommend any other airbed now I've tried this I would recommend this over my camp bed I've got my other airbeds I've got the double airbeds this is my number one choice the Trichology UL140